the flange. So I wanted to see how how tall it was all the way along. It's about three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna mark it on the panel three quarters of an inch so I can clean the whole thing. So all right, so I got the radiator support prepped and I'm just gonna go over this stuff one more time to make sure I got good clean surface. Then I'm gonna wipe it all down with paint thinner and then I'm gonna apply the adhesive and then I'll put it all together and spot weld the uh, couple of welds I'm gonna put in. But the uh, I'm using structural adhesive rather than just bonding adhesive. So it is supposed to absorb energy in a crash and it'll be 100% here rather than just the spot welds. So I think it'll be a better thing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and like I said, I got structural adhesive rather than just panel bonding. So for this particular area, and then I'm gonna use it for the cowl as well. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get this going. All right, so now I'm gonna use the old paint thinner and wipe all this stuff down. And it said to use acid brushes, but I watched a thing on 3M's uh, YouTube and they, the guy used uh, a Bondo spreader to uh, spread it out on both pieces when he was doing the basically the primer. So I'm gonna MIG weld. It's said to stay at least two inches away from uh, the adhesive. So I will do that. I'm gonna put four in. No, eight. All right, so um, the instructions indicate that you should take the uh, retaining cap off and then um, save that. And then the plug comes out, put it in a gun. And then it says to equalize, equalize the cartridge where it has uh, Equal amount coming out of both sides. There we go. So I got it coming out of both sides. And then it said to put the nozzle on, tighten it down, and then uh, dispense a small amount to make sure it works its way all the way through the uh, mixing tip. And you can see it going there. And there we go. So it's pretty viscous. I'm not even pulling on it and it's still coming out. It doesn't want to stop. So it's pretty viscous in this temperature. Like I said, it's like about a, it's, it's about, uh, shit. It's probably, 95 degrees out. So I'm gonna get cooking with this. Um, I don't wanna get caught with it not, uh, with it flashing off without me having uh, gotten it put onto the car and onto the metal. I'm gonna keep on keeping on, but this stuff is like runny. I'm gonna have to, it's like gonna be all over my garage. And they said it changes color too. Once you, uh, I'm gonna get this off of here, set it down and then tool that stuff in with my Bondo spreader. Okay, I got it on that side. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. This stuff, like I said, it's super viscous. So, Evidently, this is like a primer coat. So I am making sure I get it on there, but and then we'll put more on after. Get all that on. So, all right, now we got to do the tr the car itself. And it's said to use it in a well ventilated area. So as you can tell, I'm doing it in my garage with the garage door open. So. I don't know how I could get much more ventilated, so. All right.
it says uh, eight to quarter inch bead. So I'm being generous with uh, my uh, bead. And yeah, I could have welded this. I could have spot welded it and uh, been like, yeah, and be done with it. But I, I wanted to try something different. So that's what I'm doing. We got her. Now let's see if we can do this without getting it all over myself. Which is sort of doubting, but we'll try it. And it says once you set it, don't move it. So we're gonna get it in there. And it said if you need to, you can slide it, but that's it. So holy moly guacamole. And then it says it's gotta be clamped for eight hours. Sorry about that. All right, well, I got it in, I got it tacked in. Um, So now we just gotta see how it sets up. It says it's eight hours, but it'll be a little bit less time since it's like a thousand freaking degrees out here. Thanks again and have a great day.